Hi, it's good to see you again this week. Welcome to this week's Emmanuel Children's Moment. You know, it is Super Bowl weekend. I'm not sure what kind of football fans you are. I have to confess, I don't follow it all that much, except for the Bills. And I was really hoping, um, I had my fingers crossed that the Bills were going to make it to the Super Bowl this week, this year. But, oh well, it didn't happen. But hopefully next year, we'll get there. But you know, whenever we come to Super Bowl weekend, I always think about soup bowls. See, I like to eat and I like food. And so it reminds me of eating soup. And so this weekend, I'm really thinking about soup. It's one of our family's traditions to make soup for Super Bowl Sunday. And I can't decide what kind of soup I want. I absolutely love soup. Almost any kind of soup there is, I love it. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna make this, week, uh, this weekend yet, but there will definitely be soup. One of the things I love so much about soup is that it just makes me feel so at home. It makes me feel comfortable. When I was younger, when I was a kid, um, I remember when I'd have a bad day at school or something kind of rough would happen or I'd be feeling kind of down, my mom would always make me soup. My favorite when I was little was tomato soup or chicken soup. I like those kind. So she would always make me some kind of wonderful warm soup. And there was something about eating that soup that just somehow well, it made me feel better. It was warm. And I often think of soup as being a little bit like a hug in a bowl, a hug that you can eat. It is comfort food. And even now that I'm an adult, if I have a bad day, if I'm feeling sad, usually you'll find me in the kitchen making some kind of soup, making some kind of chicken soup or maybe even homemade tomato soup like my mom used to make. Well, I think Super Bowl Sunday is also a wonderful time that we can be reminded that soup makes a wonderful food that we can share with people in our community who are hungry. You know, here at Emanuel, we have been sharing food with people for a long time. I always say that when I first came here, I've, this is the most eating congregation I've ever been in. We like to eat around here but we also like to provide food for people who maybe are going hungry. Maybe they just don't have quite enough to um, buy food, and so we provide it for them. And so this Super Bowl Sunday is a wonderful time to remember those people and to remember those who may not have as much as we do and to bring some soup in. Coming to the little pantry is kind of neat. If you look in here, we have all kinds of foods. There are things that people are people leave here. There are vegetables, there's soup, there's cereal, there's mac and cheese, there's some rice in here. It's a little cold today, a little windy, so I'm being really careful. But we can fill up this in, and all you have to do is come, bring some of your things, bring food, and put it in here, and share it. They know that they can find food here in the pantry, that they can take what they need, but we can also share what we have so that we can be there and continue to serve and help people in the community. But the little pantry isn't the only place that Emmanuel shares food with the community. We also share food here at Emmanuel with the schools in Webster. This is something that has been going on for quite a few years. And if you're here when we have people from the church packing, it's really fun. Every week they pack about 70 bags of food that are taken to schools and they're put in kids' backpacks for people who, for, for families that maybe don't have quite enough. And this is food that can help them get through the weekend, get through the week. It's all set up here, ready to go, ready for people to come in and pack. And it's a really cool thing because you get to see them packing and putting them in, getting them all ready to go to the different schools. After packing the bags in the fellowship hall, the bags go here, these big totes. There are a whole bunch of them and each one of these will go to one of the different schools. And so these get all filled with, with the bags of food. 
They're empty right now. But let me tell you, when they are filled, when the people have come in and packed them, this whole corner is filled with bins stacked really high. And it's a way that we can help people, a way that we can reach out, a way that we can celebrate Super Bowl or Soup Bowl Sunday in maybe a little bit different way. I invite you to help with this wonderful project. The tables are filled, ready to go. But you can help too by bringing food if you are able. Maybe you can ask your parents to bring some things. It doesn't have to be soup. It can be cereal. It can be cans of, well, macaroni and beef or fruit cup. It can be ramen. It can be macaroni and cheese, all different kinds of things. But you can bring a little bit and put it in the pantry out in the parking lot. Or you can drop it off here at the church on Sundays around noon. There's someone here who will be able to take your food for you. But in any way we can, God calls us to help those around us. You know, a long time ago, Jesus fed a whole bunch of people along the Sea of Galilee. We're told he fed 5,000 people. Boy, that was a lot of hungry people to feed. You know, but that's what Jesus did, and that's what Jesus wants us to do. Following Jesus means doing some of the same things that Jesus does. And that means loving people, helping people, serving them, taking care of them, and feeding them. I hope you'll join me this Super Bowl Sunday to remember those people who may not have as much to eat, but we can help them and we can make a difference in their lives. Let's say a prayer together, shall we? God of grace, we thank you that you come to us and, and help us, and most of all, that you love us. Help us to share that love in everything we do. Help us to help those around us, and help us so that we can feed just as Jesus did. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. It was good to see you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week on our Children's Moment. Bye-bye.